So when I was younger, uh, we had these books that were called Choose Your Own Adventure books. And they, they looked exactly like this. I don't remember the ones that I used to read being this old looking, um, but uh, these were definitely the same kind of books. And so the way that they worked is that you open the first page and it introduced the beginning of the story. And then uh, as you moved on to the second page, let's say here, uh, it tells the next part of the story and it gives you a choice at the bottom. Like, What do you want to do? So if you decide to explore the ledge, then you turn to page six. If you decide to cut loose, then you turn to page four. And then each of those pages, they tell a different part of the story, depending on what you choose. So uh, basically, we have something that looks like this, right? Where here's page one, and then we have a choice. Do I turn to page six, or do I turn to page four? And if I turn to page four, then I read the next part of the story. And I'm given a choice. What do I want to do? Turn to page 28 or turn to page 13, right? And, the, and it keeps on going. And that way you're able to choose what, how you want the direction of the story to go. Right? And this is something that we're going to uh, build in Python. We're going to build a similar choose your own adventure game. And so let's go ahead and get started. We open up our PyCharm. And what I want you to do is to create a new project. So we're going to go to the top and say new project, right? So you go to the very top bar and we'll say new file, new project. And we will call it CYOA for choose your own adventure. Okay, we'll create that. We'll say okay, current window. All right, so we have this new project CYOA, but there's no file in it. Right. If I click on that little arrow there, so I'm going to hit control, hold down control, click and say new Python file. And I'm also going to call this CYOA okay, for choose your own adventure. And so the beginning part or the first thing that you need to do is you need to, if you remember from here, is to print out the title and print out the first part of the story. Right? Print out the first page essentially. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say print. And I'm going to put my title. Maybe I could say Space Invaders from Mars. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to print out the first part of the story. So one day, right, a boy was launched into space. Okay. Um, it doesn't have to be just one line of code. It could be uh, more than one print line. right? So then I could go ahead and copy this and say Maybe I could put here next part, and I could put here next part, next part, next part. Right? So let's pretend this is our first paragraph introducing the story. Okay. Um, if I go ahead and run it, I'm going to hold Control and click and hit Run. You could see down here that it prints out the title and the first paragraph. Okay. Um, one thing that we want to do is we want to have a space between the title and the story. So just like we did in Mad Libs, I'm going to go ahead and come right here, and I'm going to do a backslash n, backslash n. Let's do two of them. And now I press play. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too much, so maybe I can do that and get one blank line. Okay. So, um, yeah, why don't you go ahead, why don't we stop there, and why don't you go ahead and as your challenge exercise is think about what kind of a story you want to write, give it a title, and write the first page of the story okay and just remember after the first page it's going to be like choose what you want to do so you want to leave them at the end of the sp first part of the story at a place where they need to make a decision so let's go ahead and do that and then we'll come back and we'll continue building this project